Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Voxler 4. Voxler is an affordable 3D well data and modeling software package that allows you to produce professional looking graphics. In this video, I will demonstrate some of the functionality available from Voxler's worksheet view. The worksheet allows you to create, open, edit, and save data files. In this welcome dialog, you can open a new project or worksheet, begin importing data, open an existing project, or access the tutorial. We will begin by opening an existing file. Select the soil contamination well rendered.voxb sample file from the files list and click open. With the data source module selected in the network manager, we can click the edit worksheet button in the property manager to open the linked data in the worksheet view. Alternatively, we can open data files that are not yet plotted by clicking File, Open, selecting the data file, and clicking Open. We can open a new worksheet by clicking File, New, Worksheet. From the worksheet view, we can add data by typing in the cells, and we can import data into the existing worksheet with the file import command. With our data open in the worksheet, there are a variety of commands we can use to edit our data. The edit menu contains general editing commands like cut, copy, and paste. Additionally, this is where the find and replace commands are located, which allow you to search the worksheet for a specific entry and, if desired, replace that entry with something else. For example, we can click Edit, Find, type 166.64 into the Find box, set the in drop down list to the entire limits, and click Find Next to find the first instance of the value 166.64 in the file, which happens to be in cell B3. Click Close to close the Find and Replace dialog. The Format menu contains commands for formatting the cells, the column widths, and the row heights. For example, if we highlight all columns and click Format Column Width, type 15 into the column width box and click OK, the columns all shrink to be the same width, 15. The data menu contains worksheet specific editing commands such as transform, statistics, and new projected coordinates. Click data, transform to perform a calculation on your data. In the Transform With drop-down box at the top of the dialog, we can set the calculation to perform over columns, rows, or cells. The Transform Equation box is where we enter our equation, and the Functions button next to it expands a function list, in case you didn't know the correct syntax for a function you want to use. Below the Transform Equation box is the range of rows or columns to perform the calculation over. And the last three drop-down boxes tell Voxler how to handle empty cells, text cells, and numeric cells. If we wanted to populate 20 more rows in column A with the well ID 170750112300, we could do so by keeping transform width set to column variables typing A equals 170750112300 into the transform equation box and setting the first row to 3 and the last row to 22. When we click OK, we see the worksheet update. Click Data, Statistics to calculate statistics about your data selection. In the Select Items to Compute section, we can select which statistics to calculate. By default, number of values, sum, minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation are chosen. Checking the box next to the statistic name will add that statistic to the calculation, and unchecking the name will remove it from the calculation. 
In the data section, we can define whether the data is sample or population data, and we can specify whether we have a header row at the top of our worksheet. Since we do, we will want labels in first row to be checked. In the results section, we can choose whether we want to display the statistics in a pop-up window or whether we want them to be written to our worksheet, beginning at a user-defined cell. In the data range to include section, we can choose how much of the data we use for the calculation. The options are to use all of the data values, use the data values within a user-specified range, use the data values outside of a user-specified range, and use all data values except for a user-specified value. The latter is useful for eliminating a null value, like negative 999, from statistics calculations. We will use all data values. Click OK to perform the calculation. Since we chose to display the calculations in a window, a statistics results window displays the calculations. We can click the Copy button to copy this information to the clipboard, or click the Close button to close this dialog. Click Data, New Projected Coordinates to define the coordinate system for your current XY values, and then calculate new XY values in a different coordinate system. In the New Projected Coordinates dialog, first set the columns of your source X and Y and your target X and Y. Then define the current and desired coordinate systems. In the Source Columns section, set X and Y to the columns containing the X and Y values in your worksheet. In the Target Columns section, X and Y are automatically set to the first two empty columns in the worksheet, so we can leave these alone. The Source Coordinate System section is where we set the current coordinate system for the values in the X and Y source columns defined above. Click the ellipsis button next to the name, navigate to the coordinate system by searching or by expanding the folders, and click OK. The target coordinate system section is where we set the desired coordinate system we want our X and Y to be in. Click the ellipsis button next to the name, navigate to the coordinate system by searching or by expanding the folders, and click OK. Click OK to perform the projection. You can now see the new X and Y values in the columns we chose for our target columns. When you are finished editing your data, there are three options for saving. Clicking the File, Save command saves the changes to the same name, file path, and file extension as the original file thereby overwriting the original. Clicking the file Save As command saves the changes to a user-defined name, file path, and file extension. Once saved, the new file is the one being edited in the worksheet, so using the Save command saves changes to the new file. For example, click File, Save As. In the File Name box, type New Name. Click Save. Notice the name on the tab has changed to newname.xlsx. This is because we're now editing the newname.xlsx file rather than the original anti-collision data.xls file. Clicking the File Save Copy As command saves the changes to a user-defined name, file path, and file extension. Once saved, the original file is still the one being edited in the worksheet so using the save command saves changes to the original file and not the one saved with the save copy as command. For example, click file, save copy as. In the file name box, type copy. Click save. Notice the name on the tab is still new name.xlsx. This is because we're still editing the original newname.xlsx file rather than the copy.xlsx file we just saved. This concludes the video training for Voxler 4's worksheet. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.